When Hurricane Alex struck Mexico's east coast, it became the first June hurricane in 15 years. Residents were ready because of early warnings from the Miami-based National Hurricane Center, which pulls information from scientists around the world to determine where a hurricane will hit. And because this year is expected to be a particularly active hurricane season, those scientists will become more important than ever. Tim Marchalk is a scientist at the Geophysical Fluid Dynamics Laboratory in Princeton, New Jersey. He helps maintain the building block of hurricane forecasts, a hurricane model. Hurricane modeling is a mathematical process where we use equations that describe the flow of the atmosphere and then use those equations to move forward in time to predict how the atmosphere is going to change in time. But it's a long road to get from number crunching to accurate forecasting. The process of going from the original data until the final product that a forecaster is issuing to the public is a multi-stage process that takes on average about five hours and that goes from collecting all the data observations into a central computer, making a three-dimensional picture, computer picture, um, of all that data. And then using that as our starting point for a forecast, where we then integrate all those equations, we move all those equations out in time, and then the forecasters assess that data and issue a forecast to the public. The speed and accuracy of forecasting has improved with the help of technology. The GFDL supercomputer calculates 2 billion pieces of data each minute, and it doesn't have a bad track record. In 2009, the GFDL model was consistently better than the industry standard. But the numbers are only part of the process. The rest is up to forecasters. What you're looking at here is for a case of Alex from this week, these are a set of forecasts from a variety, from a suite of, of models. And so instead of looking at just one model and trying to take a guess at which one might be right, a good first approximation is to take the consensus of that forecast, which is often uh, in the middle of that suite of models. Using that model, forecasters can determine the path and power of a hurricane, sometimes nearly five days in advance, which will be vital during the expectedly busy 2010 hurricane season. Adriana Diaz, CBSNews.com.